welcome to the channel. I'm out and about bright and early. No, I am not at my house. I'm at Ivy's Family Factotum. I'll be coming here every day for the last seven days to take care of their animals while they are away on vacation. And just wanted to give them a shout out. Oh, Lilu. The, the pups want to be on the on the movie, but you know they gotta wait. Just want to give them a shout out, guys. Uh, like me, okay? They came to Arkansas with limited funds. I showed up here 12 years ago with $22 in my pocket and a car that they were looking for to repossess, and they did get it. And from that, I built up what I have now, which you know ain't a ton, but I'm happy. And they are doing the same thing, you know, as as with me. They're starting out living in a camper. They bought land that was trashed with an abandoned homestead. Let me just kind of show you around. The old home stood here. You guys can go back and watch their videos. They are not a channel that moved, you know, sold a home in LA for a million dollars and bought land in Arkansas. Uh, they are struggling like I did. This is where the old house stood. They do have a video on tour in this house. If you're interested, go check it out on their channel. And they built that. That is not one of those uh, sheds that you buy. They built that. They're waiting on funds to get the roof. Okay, their uh, mother and father are currently sleeping in there. It's insulated, heat, all that. Uh, you know, they just, they're clearing the land a little bit at a time and they're doing a good job of it. See, they got some wood chipping going on back here, but I'm, I'm not sure how many acres it is. I'd like to say 25, but I, that may be wrong. Go to their channel, check it out. And they've been having some septic issues. They're working on that. But as you know, you fix things as you get the funds to do so, and that's what they're doing. They are retired Navy disabled veterans, as well as I am. So I don't mind helping them out. I mean, you don't have to be a veteran for me to help you out. But uh, as you can see there, they've got them uh, some shed set up that's the one i've been going in that's where the dog food is they have the playhouse that was gifted to them uh, for their daughter from make a wish foundation i uh, donated some uh, sheetrock to go with that and he has a little blacksmith shop going on over here and their infamous driveway oh yeah if it's raining four-wheel drive man got a nice pond over here and then down that way, they have a bridge, and there's two cabin sites. One's going to be for her mother and father, and I believe his, uh, his mother and grandmother. I know there was a grandmother coming. So, well, yeah, they got a nice pond here. Let's go around and see the monsters that I've been taking care of. Very good dogs. And now, let me tell you something, guys, before we get over there. I put up a short. And you know how the arm the armchair quarterbacks come out of the blue? Well, why aren't those dogs in the house? Just so cruel. They don't have a house, okay? Let me tell you something. When you show up to Arkansas, part of the deal is you get four to five dogs that are abandoned. And these dogs were abandoned. They took them in. They're feeding them. Just like me. I, I got two dogs the first day I was here. Waldo and Lucy. I still got Waldo. Dogs don't have to be in the house. This is a temporary setup they have for them. Okay. They get shelter. There's Wally's old dog house. Yeah. And then there's Lilo. Yes. Yeah. You're, you're, you're like, well, you tell eyes too. Yeah. There was no green Martians landed here last night and turned you, and they, they were cats. Yeah. See how they lie? They're, they lie just like Waldo. Lilu's the worst. Lilu, what about these Martians? Oh, they took ex did experiments on you. I can see. These are going to be huge, huge dogs. This isn't going to work for them for long. <laughs> but it's what they got going. And uh, I just got done. They got clean water. They got fed. They got their steak bites. They got their milk bones. I scooped poop. Yeah, that's a big bag of poop when you scoop their poop because it's big poop. So they got nice clean areas. Their, their, their mom and dad's coming home tonight. So they'll come home to a clean place. 
they'll just have to feed them. But I guess if they're not going to come home till late, I'll come back and feed them later. I've been feeding them at 8 in the morning and 5 in the afternoon. So uh, they're not going hungry. No, I believe these things, and, and they found these dogs by the dumpsters over at the church at the end of the road. That is a popular dump site for dogs. So if you're coming here thinking, oh, everything, and by the way, all the land, in our, they bought the last piece of land in Arkansas right here. There's no more left. No more left uh, land left to buy for anybody. So and check out Tennessee, check out some other states, but Arkansas is full. It is. But if you do find a piece of land here, chances are it's going to be trashed. You're going to have to do a lot of work. And that's been the case with most people that have come here and started a homestead. All right, guys, I got to go home and put in a kitchen. I do. I just thought I'd give them a quick shout out, guys. Uh, I will put a link in the description for their channel. Uh, I would appreciate it if you guys would check them out. Go back. And watch their story they've been on for two years i believe they got a little over three thousand subs we can do better than that uh they're starting from scratch and and it's pretty interesting and they've helped me out and as well as i've helped them out but they've helped me out a bunch they helped me with the carport a few other things so it's and they only live a few miles from me so ivy's family factotum there i finally said it right all right, guys, in case I don't see you tonight, it's been fun. All right, let's go home. Let's put in a sink, and I'm going to show you what I got going on. I've got to get the kitchen finished this weekend so I can start laying floor. And, uh, boy, that countertop, I'll show you what I did. So I will see you back at my casa. Here we go. Getting in that truck right there, and I'm going to head on down the road. Bye, pups. And Lilu, you're not a pup. She's a sweet girl. They all are. They're good girls. They don't jump on you. That's what I like. They don't jump on you. We are doing, Waddles? <laughs> oh, you guys eating clovers. Uh, fresh out of the garden tubs, too. Yeah, but, you know, I got to park there, guys, because... I got these guys. Look at them. The carport's like their doghouse now. Are you cozy? And what about you? You do know that the carport's for me, right? Not you. At least you don't care. Millie Moo Cow. You're so goofy. You didn't hardly come out of your doghouse yesterday. How come? Because you was out running. Yeah, in the pasture. That one's licking her butt. I knew it. I knew there'd be a rooster dobbins waiting on me. Let's get your biscuit. Get your biscuit out. Gotta have the biscuit. Yep. You live for the biscuit. All right, we're back home and we're in the kitchen. Yes, I did manage to get the countertop in. Uh, yeah, probably if I wouldn't have built that wall, I might have been able to, I would have been able to run it in that way, but that wasn't the case. So what I ended up doing was cutting it like the other one was. It's a nice good cut so well, i'm going to silicone that put it together that's where the microwave is going to be it's never been an issue nothing's ever got through there but i'm going to silicone it real good now what i'm going to do here is put a piece of butcher block it's just going to go from there to there i got a four foot piece and a six foot piece and i'm going to also build a counter lower than this here across and I'm going to have butcher block, butcher block. Let me show you the butcher block. It's beautiful. And it ain't cheap. So that's what we're putting in for the butcher block. Look how thick that stuff is. Yep. I don't even like to cut it. And you know what? I saw that picture, guys. 
wouldn't that make a cool desk in here? I know. So eventually, I think we're going to go with that in here. That would be nice. That is some beautiful butcher block. So the six foot piece is out in the shed. So I think it's going to look really good with this being butcher block. And then I kind of want to go lower here because I've had that cooktop. It sits up. I am going to recess that. I've got, I've got to think about that. For now, I'm not going to cut a hole out in it, I don't think, for the cooktop. I hate, but if I do, I'm going to take that piece and make something out of it. Uh, I don't know. So it's going to come down a little bit lower. It's going to meet up with this about, you know, where this will overhang this. And this will overhang the butcher block. I'm going to do away with, delete the door, put that in solid. And then it will have cabinets in below. Uh, I forgot I bought new pots and pans. And uh, I was trying to heat up some tortillas in a pan the other day on that new burner. And it would not work. And it's because the pan was not magnetic. So yes, it is an induction oven. First thing we're going to do this morning, guys, is we are going to get this sink fit right. There are some cross beams and stuff that the sink is hitting on in this corner we got to take that out we're going to silicone this in we're going to put the under mounts on i can flip it up i'm going to get the plumbing attached as you can see the drains they line up perfectly so there i won't have to do any modifications there and we'll get the faucet and everything attached then we'll set the sink and i've got some silicone i bought a new caulk gun because i can't find mine or it broke or something but this is not sitting completely it, it the hole's right it's just the stuff that's under the counter so i'm going to get that going first thing i want to get a piece of sheetrock up here before i even start on the counter and we gotta uh, probably move this outlet i really need to bring this up so if i'm going to recess the cooktop then it needs then it's fine but i'd like to be able to use this counter for like my air fryers other things like that toaster oven so i really like to get that outlet moved up and i thought i'd looked and didn't do it for a reason or maybe i was just waiting so it's gonna be a long day it may be a long video i'll film what i got but i want to be done with this by tomorrow evening the whole kitchen and move on to the flooring hi there we're we're, we're doing sink stuff all right i've got the sink fitting good now now we're going to install the faucet and stuff before we mount the sink because it's a lot easier on an old man and uh yeah sometimes instructions throw you the wrong way first thing in the instructions it says remove the weight off of the hose well it wasn't on there I had to go watch a video, and I'm like, what are they talking about? Well, it's this thing. We'll get into that later. So where I'm at now is um, mounting this doodad. Boys, it's going to be... Guys, you don't know how long it's been since I've had a nice faucet. Well, I've never had a nice faucet. You know, the last one I had was broken. And, yeah, it wasn't fun. All right, so we got to feed this doodad up through this doodad. Well, why is there... What's that hose do? I don't know. Let's just get this thing attached. Get on. Oh, well, you didn't put this one through. It says rubber first. I'm not reading that, guys. I am looking at the pictures. Thank God there's pictures. All right. You just stay there. Let me feed you up. This is the threaded piece. Now this is a Kohler Sterling all-in-one faucet, one hole. So we're going to get that on there. Yes, sir. Well, yeah, it's a lot easier installing your faucet first if you have that option. Than it is laying up under there. Now, if you've got a real cheesy sink, you probably want to put it like a piece of one by 4 Uh under here to help support the faucet this is pretty stout I did not buy a cheap sink if you're wondering why I've got 85 different dish soaps up there well that's leftover remnants of the virus days when you know when you couldn't get soap that one there is the worst dish soap I've ever seen it was made in 
Turkey. I've never heard of anything being made in Turkey. Well, they sure can't make dish soap because they didn't have no suds or nothing. How long is this? Man. All right, we're going to get this thing installed. I hope it don't take me all day. All right, let's get that lined up. Uh, the nice feature of this is you get it hand tight, and then it has, like, uh, Phillips head screws that you go ahead and tighten it up the rest of the way with. That makes it easy. Keeps your faucet from loosening up over time. <laughs> if you ever get it up there, my goodness. Let me support it with my man boob. Yeah, that's the advantage of having man boobs. You can use them as little, you know, holder uppers. Things like that. Sorry I got my back to you guys, but I'm kind of busy, do you mind? This is like the world's longest thread. Okay, I've got it hand taut. Just kind of jiggle it, taut it up. Oh, hands are steel. All right, I need a Phillips head screwdriver. Ha, there it is on the ground. All right, so we got the washers and all that said stuff. So now I'm going to tighten up these little screws under here. I'm not going to waste a lot of precious film on this, guys. But however, when I do put the mounting brackets on the sink, I am going to have to get my big butt underneath there. Because there's no way to do that. Alright. Alright. And I don't know how these things work. I'm kind of figuring it out. Now there's a weight that you put on your you put on your hose. And that helps retract it back. Let's make sure that's already all the way up. So I figure I need about a foot of weight, a foot of hose, probably no more than that. And it has screws, so I'm gonna attach that onto there. Then we're gonna get this thing in. It doesn't look too difficult. Put the drains in and get the plumbing hooked up. Because man, I need a sink. The dishes are piled up in my bathroom. Popcorn bowls, things like that. Silverware with mayonnaise on them. I gotta wash dishes, man. All right, very, very, very simple installation for this. Guys, that's why we don't read this garbage. They make things seem more complicated than it actually is. And, you know, just look at the pictures. But you know what? In the pictures, the parts don't look the same as they actually do. Now, this is a quick connect. You know, my sharp brain figured it out. I didn't have to look at that. You know, it's just cool. It just snaps into place. That's part of your sprayer. It's, it's economics, man. It's simple economics. And if you put two and two together, you'll figure it out. All right, now all I got to do is hook this up to the water supply. But first, we've got to hook in these undermounts that will help, help hold the sink up. Hopefully, they will. I think I'm only going to put them in the front. They're not going to work here. <laughs> I don't know. Let me get this part done. I got to put some silicone down around the edges before I set the sink. But I want to get these mounts in place first. And then uh, we're done with the sink. We can move on to other things. And uh, I'll tell you what I did. Yesterday, I come in here. I had that sink sitting in here. I had a little bit of coffee left. And I poured it out into the drain. Yeah. That ain't hooked up, man. But I'm so used to doing things that when you take that away from me, I'm freaking out. So let's get this installed. I'll come back when it's running and we're good to go. Let me tell you about that one right there. I brought her other biscuit out because that's where the sun is. But that one is so big she stashes treats in there. So when I laid that down she had to inspect every bit of it to make sure that the, the treats that she stashed in there was still there. Did I eat them? No. Enjoy your biscuit. What kind of yawn was that? Like a quiver quiver yawn where your mouth went... Bah, da, da, da. Yeah, you're silly. Oh, these are the most spoiled dogs on earth. They are. All right, guys, the moment of truth. All right, right about here, the microphone quit working. There I am. Who knows what I'm saying? Who knows? 
So anyway, I've got the drains hooked up. I've got the water supply hooked up. I'm getting down there to turn on the water supply, and it's really hard to turn. So then I got to get back out of there and get some pliers, and I don't know. So that's what I'm doing right now. We can speed this up right here. All right, now it's time for the moment of truth. And I'm telling you, yeah, save the phone from the packaging. We're going to turn it on. Of course, I'm right in the way of the camera. The water is running. There are no leaks anywhere. And I'm amazed how well that went. No issues. It's working perfectly. Look at me. I'm amazed. No troubles whatsoever. And there we have it. I don't know what happened to the sound of this video. Oh, well, there. There I am. Washing my hands or doing something. Oh, I'm trying out the sprayer. Yeah, I'm really, really cool right there. Uh-huh. Dancing around, acting like I'm doing dishes. Man. Okay. You're, you're, you're overacting there, Mike. You're overacting. Okay, let's get away from this clip. Now the sinks, they get the point. The sink's there. I don't know what I'm saying, but it don't look too important. All right, let's move, let's move on. Oh, I'm telling you, acetone is your best friend with silicone because it will wipe it off if you make a mess with it. Okay. All right, before we move on to anything else, I am going to take five minutes and replace this lighting that is very dull, doesn't put out much light, and I'm going to put this LED light in there. Um, I've seen this working in Lowe's. You know how you look up and they got all the lights. Should be very bright. And look there. It's going to save me $583 in savings, you know, over the, over the light bulbs. Yeah, 1,300 lumens. So we're going to yank that off there, switch them out. I don't know why I was thinking I had to find one that size because of this. I can remake these. All I got to do is cut these down and I can still use them. So even if they don't have them, it doesn't look that bad without them. So let me get this hung real quick. Then we can see what we're doing in here a lot better, I hope. All right, some, something is wrong with today because nothing's went wrong other than looking for my caulk gun for 15 minutes that I just bought this morning. Yeah, I bought a new feed scoop too and it was over there by Waddles. But I found it. Y'all want to see the new light? Check it out. That's what I'm talking about. Much, much brighter. Let's test the switch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't know if it does any special things. I got to read the, I mean, look at the pictures. So now I just got to cut those pieces down a little shorter and it'll fit. Well, let me tell you something. I needed longer machine screws to put that in because that box was up kind of high and the ones that the uh, light supplied was not long enough and i dug around and all my you know my stashes where i got my bolts and i couldn't find anything and then it dawned on me you know what a subscriber just sent me a whole box of machine screws look at this guys tracy h thank you very much uh at first i'm like that's kind of a Kind of a strange thing to get from, you know, a subscriber. Look at all these guys. But let me tell you, you can never have too much of this kind of stuff. And there's another whole box out there. So, yeah, them screws were what I needed. They were there. It comes with the washer. I got washers. I got nuts. I got everything. So, that was cool. And it was sitting right here the whole time. And I, and I came back from upstairs, and I looked right at it, and I'm like, you idiot. You idiot idiot it's right there those were the ones i like that light and it is way brighter way brighter and it looks good too guys it looks good 50 bucks can't beat it so everything now is led we got you there we got you there let's see we got these 
on them. I still like this. Flick it off. Wait a second. Flick it back on. You got night lights. Amazing. Anyway, I'm going to be putting up sheetrock here and I got to get my box in place for my vent hood and the wires on this side. So I got to drill a couple holes through here. I can't I can't wire this until, uh, well, what I'm going to probably do, yeah, I'm just, well, I got, because this is live, this is power and other stuff, so I got to cut it, turn the breaker off, cut it, feed it through, uh, I'm going to drill some holes here, feed it through, and then wire it back up temporarily, and because it's live, I need to use the other lights, and then hang the sheetrock. Now, I've got it out a little past the sheetrock level because we are putting this on this protrudes a good half an inch or more quarter inch so i want to make sure that that's easily accessible i haven't even opened the box of the fan yet all right i have never used well that's why i've never used an impact for a drill because you can't well, what i do with the piece i took off i swear i've spent most of my day looking for stuff as usual i gotta go find the drill so i'm gonna probably do this in two pieces the sheetrock will go behind here but it's not it's at an angle so I'm just gonna only be able to go to here which is fine I'll notch that and then we'll get this covered uh, in metal and I don't know if I'm gonna get the building cabinets today uh, we've put the sink in that's big one put a new light in man does that make a difference in the lighting so if I can get this up today on this video that's cool did you see you can tell your grandkids, see this wall built on YouTube, the Dogman channel. Happy trails. Tell all your grandkids, you know, when they get older, they, if YouTube's still around, it's right here. Now, I went back and watched the video when I pulled this metal off. Well, I got sheetrock back here. So I went back and watched the video where the other side was off. There's no moving this up. Uh, I would have to take the wall off apart and it's all the way back here. I could do that, but it's not real necessary because there's an outlet right here. Now, if I want to air fry or something here, I've got an outlet right there. No problem. And so the counter will be over this. The stove top will plug in underneath. It's out of the way. It'll look like it was built in. So right now, I guess what we'll do is we'll drill this hole. We'll hit the breaker, cut this feed it through here, put some wire nuts on there, wire it back up until we get the sheetrock on and the metal on, and we can put the vent hood up. I don't want to put the vent hood up until the counter's built. Uh, standard height from your cooktop, I looked it up, is 24 inches. To me, that seems a little low, but it makes sense. I mean, they're not going to work if they're way up here. So we're going to get this done, get this wire run through, and then we'll be back. I'll put some sheetrock up. Probably put some metal up, and then we can go on from there. Tomorrow, I don't even know what today is. Saturday? Tomorrow will be the cabinet build, I think. We'll get all this small stuff out of the way. Because I want to take a few hours tonight and just clean this place up. Get the tools organized where I don't have to search for things for 15 hours. And, uh, all right, let me go get my drill, and we'll, we'll get this done. All right, I don't know what's going on with my camera. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, drill these holes. And I I was looking for this bit. It was on the drill that I couldn't didn't know where the drill was. All right, let's just drill two holes. I smell like fresh lumbu. <laughs> That's all I gotta do. All right, let me go uh, round up some wire nuts and we'll get this fed through. I guess. I don't know. I don't know what else I'm gonna do. We'll see. What you doing all my stuff? 
Dude, why do you keep coming back? What's that? That ain't no real thing. Well, I, I'm making changes for the better. What was wrong with my colored countertop? Where, why'd you build a wall here? What's that for? It, I like it, but I still don't like you. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care. Hit the road, Jack. You changed everything I did. You put a new light in. I spent time putting that light in. You put a brand new ugly light in. I don't like it. And I don't like you. Go back into uh, some other past that we had. We're riding our big wheel. That was fun. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, this past guy. All right. I cut the breaker. I cut the line. I fed those two in. This line is live. The breaker's back on. I've got the wire nuts in place. Don't mess with electric if, you're, if you don't know the basics. Uh, but don't be afraid to learn it. Uh, because you would be surprised. You might move into a brand new house or a used house. And you discover that it isn't wired. Even if a professional electrician, they do hurry up sometimes, take shortcuts. So you may discover if you have basic electrical knowledge... If something ain't right. So this is fine. I can touch this. It ain't gonna, you know, but I'm not gonna monkey around with it too much. I just simply cut it and I put the wires back to where the whites, the, the neutrals, the power and the, and the grounds wired together. So now when I go to install my vent hood, everything's here. I cut the breaker again. I wire it, wire it up. And I'm go, also going to have, it's, it's, it's on a continued line. So this is also my outlets for my kitchen. And there's a certain way to wire that. Uh, I'll, I've showed you that in, in previous videos. This will be the same way. I'll put pigtails on, continue on to the live circuit, which is or the live line, which is here. Well, it's all live, but the power source is here. So anyway, now I'm going to move on to sheetrock. I'm going to get the vacuum out, get this all vacuumed out and get two pieces of sheetrock i'm not gonna i've got some bigger ones but i'm not gonna waste it on this simply because this wall is going to be covered okay this is where you leave now and go to the bathroom you're still there I, i'm out of stuff to say guess i'll have to manually shut you down okay man Let's get this. Look at that. I stapled a dollar bill. I don't know if you can see it right there. For the future kids of America. Oist. Okay. Ah. Uh, wah. Wah. Wiggle. Squiggle wiggle it in. Hopefully I'm good on my measurements. Well, get in there. <clears throat> All right, you got to go back. <clears throat> what on her? Okay, there we go. up somewhere because this thing should be right I know what I did I know what I did I measured up into there and it won't go up into there all right I know this will fit I just got to get my little stool I don't know how I'm gonna do that and hold it see it's hitting here but there's a where that board goes across, it's supposed to go on up in there. But I got to get up high where I can push into that. 
All right, I was able to finagle it in place. <clears throat> there was a piece of metal here and I could actually still go back a little bit. Uh, I think we're good. All right, that's good enough for me. I'm going to put this in place. Of course, I got to drop a screw or two. It wouldn't be me. Get one in there to hold her down. Oh yeah, we're not going to mud this, so I'm not going to worry about it. Alright guys, unfortunately, that's about all I'm going to be able to do today that I can record. Uh, it's almost time to feed the dogs. And then i got to go back out here in a little while and feed the dogs again. Apparently they're coming home on Sunday, not today. So i got to feed them to the evening and in the morning, no problem. They're one of them groups of people that milk every bit of that vacation. Not me, man. As soon as I pull in the driveway on vacation, wherever I'm going, I'm ready to turn around and come back. Of course, I ain't been on a vacation since 19... 2000. 2000 was the last. I don't... I'm on vacation here in the country. So, but they got family. They go visit and all that and... I think they're all coming up here because I'm going to tell you, Ivies, you get chickens and goats, you better get someone else. I ain't taking care of all that stuff. I got all my creatures. Now, if the dogs are cool, I'll take care of dogs, but I ain't doing nobody's chickens, no goats or rabbits or any of that nonsense. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll get this on up where you can see it. Be sure to go uh, check out Ivy's videos. Man, they're up and coming. They're building their homestead uh, a lot like I did, a little bit at a time, you know. 40 bucks here, 50 bucks here, 100 bucks here. You got to do what you got to do, and I'm still doing it 10 years later. April 14th will mark 10 years in this cabin. Well, actually, on this property. I did not move into this cabin until about two and a half years later. I was living in a fifth wheel. But it's all been a big adventure. You can see, I'm at the point now where I'm, other than the floor, I pretty much had everything done. It just wasn't really what I wanted. So I'm, I'm doing the things I want to do now to make it the way I really want it. And I'm, I'm going to try to get all this kitchen's crap done by tomorrow. And hopefully Monday morning, we're going to start putting some floor down. Now that could, that could go on for the whole week. <laughs> I don't know. It isn't going to be great on my body, I can tell you that. But I'm going to do it. Cause I've done everything else by myself and there's something about that that makes you feel good and, and yeah I can get help but there's been people offered to help but I want to try to do it myself and if I find that I can't do it if it's too much then I'll get help but it's just I don't want the floor to be a hurry up process where if you got people here you're trying to hurry it up so they can get on home there's a lot of details that are going to be on that floor going around stairs and things and so I'm going to try it. Even if it takes me two weeks, I'll get it done. But I'm, I have a feeling maybe three days. <laughs> That's wishful thinking. So go check them out and uh, I'll see you back here in a day or so. Happy trails.